I've set myself the challenge of building a catamaran in one day so I've come up with a slightly novel design using ordinary building materials basically screwed together to save time. These are the tube steel frames that will hold the hulls together. This is just a prototype design of course so I'm only using cheap and cheerful materials. This is 9 by 2 deal board so I'm cutting up. I honestly don't know whether it can be built in a day or if it will work when it is built. Only one way to find out. I have arranged for a group of friends to help me out. Metal group number one. But they won't arrive for a while so I'm starting without them. And this is just shuttering ply. My homemade panel saw is so useful as usual. The two hulls have a central wooden frame inside that looks like a ladder. The two frames are held together by the steel pipe and insulation foam sheets are attached to the frame. Real boat builders will of course be choking over their wood shavings, but tough. This is just an experiment and you can all laugh if it doesn't float. Keep on eating chocolate, drink coffee. You're helping Bob. What's your job? Guarding the wood. I had printed out some of the components, shapes, full size, so all I had to do is cut around the templates. This is ordinary four inch builder's insulation. Easy to cut up, and the thing that I hope will keep this boat from sinking. The hulls are three and a half meters long, about 11 foot six. Designed to fit the mast and sails I already have. I have to err on the side of caution and make it stronger than it might need to be, because I don't want it bending or breaking up when a big wave hits it. None of the work was difficult or skilled, but there was just a lot of it. A lot to cut up and screw together. So I was very pleased when the rest of the team started showing Great. up. Here come the, the cavalry. Team, the team is arriving. It's two o'clock and we have three hours to get it done. Okay. okay we have three dogs to help. Three dogs, that's just what we need. <laughs> <laughs> After that it got very busy and noisy and slightly chaotic but it was good fun. marking out uh, some pieces to be cut, roughly cut at first, and then more accurately cut afterwards. Our work group has French, German, English, Welsh and Irish people in it, as well as some dogs. And this time we had a couple of extra volunteers. Thanks guys! Oh, it's going really well. Yeah. <laughs> you interview. Tim's you interview. Sweating a lot, like. Yeah. 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 But everybody's here now, and so um, it'll happen probably. Let's see. Now what are we doing? Ten. Yeah. And make a prominent mark. Yep. Um, at these points. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Can do that. This was the first ever build like this. So of course we hit snag after snag and we had to make things up as we went along. Everyone works so hard though, and it's very exciting to see a project happening so quickly around you. Uh, yes, it's going to be way back. Yes, way exactly. Back. We do We've it. lost our mark now, haven't we? <laughs> this reminded me of our house build, where the whole house was built by friends and family in a fortnight. I managed to cut off a vital piece. We knew that we wouldn't be doing it here. But because there was a line there, you... But the guys figured a way around it, and on we went.
But it's straight, it's straight down. Yeah, straight down, straight down, yeah. Linda was filming everything by now, and I was just trying to keep up with everyone. Make sure it's clear here. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. I go for the French bit. Proper French bit. Now. Can you put the little square on the top? Having banjacks that bit up, are we now ready to move on? Yeah, yeah. I think we might be. So we drill that big hole. Drill the big hole with that thing. And then we turn the whole thing over. Mark the where the holes go. Fill out the holes, and then we're ready to go. All the time it kept raining steadily outside with no sign of let up for a launch. Steel bars yes. can go right through yeah. the cut from underneath. Luckily all the people in the team are smart and practical. Every time we hit a problem, we just worked around it. That's good. That's good. If it's out, it's well, If it's lined up, it'll go down fine. But if it isn't, we'll have to both... Around this time, with no prospect of a dry launch today anyway, thoughts turned to the dinner that Sandra had been preparing. There's a smell of sausage cheese on. <laughs> he has a very good nose, doesn't he? We've been working together every month for four years now and that's a really good way to get to know and trust people. Everyone agreed that we could have finished the project in the day, but it wasn't worth it. So, with most of it complete, we stopped. Sandra's plans for a barbecue on the beach were scuppered too. Rainy Tim, I'm sorry. But the group celebrated our four year anniversary very well anyway. Next morning I attached the rudder boxes, the tiller, and the drop down rudders. Also, the mast support and the decking. These together provide the triangulation of the structure to stop the hulls shearing and hold the whole thing rigid. And then the catamaran was finished. This video is long enough already, so the launch is in the next one. And there's a link in the description to the video about designing this catamaran. So, what do you think? Would it work?